Okay, in this video, we're gonna look at how you can animate your own company logo in just a few minutes. So this becomes useful whenever you're showing your logo on any video platform. Having it animated, even just a small touch of animation, uh, can really help it to look a lot better than just having a static logo at the end. Sometimes a static logo even kind of looks cheap or, or bad when it's coming in the form of video. It does not have to be anything fancy, but it really just helps it fit in with the video platform as well as other pluses. You know, having your logo animated, you know, it just makes you look more professional. You know, it makes your brand look more serious. Like, the, you know, this, this company puts effort into their brand. Okay, so we are going to be using After Effects to get this done. And if you don't have After Effects, there is a free, you know, seven day trial you can download from Adobe. You may already have After Effects without knowing it as it is part of their suite of apps. But if you wanna download After Effects just so you can animate your company logo, uh, go for it. Okay, so let's check out the process of animating your logo. So this is what After Effects looks like when you first open it. Just a note that I am using the default workspace and we're just gonna click on create a new composition. Depending on you know, where you're going with your video, YouTube, you'd want 1920 by 1080. If you're going to Instagram, you want, you'd probably wanna put 1080 by 1080. These are just the dimensions. But for our purpose, we'll assume we're going to like Facebook or, or YouTube and we'll just hit okay. Next thing, we're just gonna drag in our logo. And we are purposely working with just a PNG file. So this is just like a flat image file. So if you're just working with a JPEG or a PNG, uh, that's the type of file that we're working with here. So I'll drag that in, have it there, and I'm just gonna drag this into my composition. And because some of our logo is black, uh, it's disappearing into the background here, I'm just gonna create a new solid. And we're gonna make that white. And you'll see we now have the white solid layer and the logo layer. We're just, we're just gonna drag, click and drag the white solid below our logo. Okay, so first part of the process is separating our logo into separate pieces. So we're gonna kind of cut it up so that we can animate it in different ways. So we're gonna duplicate this logo maybe four times because I wanna have access to this line here, the image here, and then the two words separately. So those are four components of the logo. So we're gonna duplicate this. I'm just gonna hit Command D or Control D if you're on a PC on that layer. So we now have four instances of the layer. I'm gonna go up, grab my pen tool, click on the first instance, and I'm just gonna click around my visual here. Careful not to cut any of it off. Okay, we've got that. We're gonna click on the second instance and I'm just going to create a lasso around the visual. Then we're gonna get the price word. All right, and if you wanna then position any of these anchors after the fact, you can just click them and drag them. It's kinda of hard to get in between there. And then I'm gonna click on the last layer, select my pen tool again and isolate the word bulb. And if you ever want to you know, make sure you got it right, you can click on this isolation tool here and see if you've isolated it. And I can see that I have, I could check that for all of them. Might need the white there too. There's price, there's the visual, and there's the circle. We've now separated the logo into different pieces and we're gonna to go to the next step of the process, which is animating. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is actually fix the position of the anchor point for each layer. Okay, so for the first layer, we're gonna drag it to the center. We're then gonna select the second layer, drag it to the center. And the two words, we're gonna drag it to the center, but also at the bottom of the word. And this is just kind of the pivot point. So if we rotated bulb, it would now rotate around this pivot point. Okay, so we have our anchor point set up. I'm just gonna select all the layers and I'm going to hit the S on my keyboard. That's gonna bring up scale. We're going to click the keyframe icon with all the layers selected. And I'm just gonna move that grab these and move them forward maybe you know, half a second. You'll see the two second mark is here. 
and I'm just going to scale them all down to zero. Now, if I just hit the space bar, you'll see they're all animating and scaling up. Pretty cool. So even right there, you kind of have a logo animation. We could end it there, but we'll add just a little bit more flair. So, you know, this, this guy here could maybe rotate. So if we click that layer and we hit the letter R, you'll see we have rotation here. I'm just going to drag my time indicator back in time to the beginning. I'm going to hit a keyframe and I'm going to actually, I'm going to drag that keyframe out to match these keyframes. Um, so it's going to end at zero rotation and it's going to start at maybe minus 180 rotation. So you'll see now that our logo is kind of rotating up and that's pretty cool. And maybe we can just offset the timing of price bulb. So maybe this comes up first, then price, then bulb. So I'm just going to drag these forward, maybe just a couple notches, a couple frames. I'm going to grab bulb and move it forward a couple more. So it's the last thing that comes in. And let's play that back. We'll hit the space bar. I think it's happening maybe a bit too slow. If we want to speed the whole thing up, we can just grab every last keyframe and drag them in a bit. Let's see how that works. Lastly, I'm just going to drag, grab all the keyframes, hit F9 to add some easing, and that'll just kind of smooth it out a bit for you. Now the rotation I think is happening a bit quick, so I could even drag that out way, way to the end, so it'll be the last thing that animates. That's a bit better. And if you want to add some blank space at the beginning to kind of get a feel for how that's going to come into the frame or come into the video after your last scene, or whatever is showing before this uh, logo animation, we'll just grab all the layers, and, except for the white background, and we'll just move them forward in time a bit. So at the beginning, it's just white. And we'll play that back. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to export this, you know, just to be safe, we could make it an eight second export. We'll just drag the end of this guy here. So we have eight seconds selected here. We'll just go to Composition, add to the render queue. If you just follow along here, uh, the settings that I select should work for, for any video almost. So we'll just click on Lossless here. And we'll go to Format, and we'll just hit, we'll just select Apple ProRes 422. OK. OK. So I'm going to go into my logo animation, and I'm going to make it maybe a new folder and just call it Output. And we'll put it there, and we'll call it Logo Animation. And we'll just hit Render. All right, and that's complete. We can now open it up, find it. We'll look at our output. And here is our Logo Animation. Really simple, and you have your own Logo Animation. And of course, you know, there are other settings we could have played with, like opacity and, you know, position. I definitely encourage you to, you know, to play around with this and, and have a look around in After Effects. It's really just about taking that flat image, breaking it apart with, you know, the pen tool, and then just animating the, the basic properties of it with keyframes. And, you know, just selecting your keyframes at the end, hitting F9, just to make it look a bit smoother. So I hope this becomes useful to you. Definitely feel free to reach out to Bitesight if you want any help with this or added tips. But I hope this helps, you know, if you've ever just wanted a, a quick logo animation uh, rather than static, I hope this gets the job done for you. And thank you for watching, and we will see you soon.